Welcome to the Las Vegas Homes channel. My name is Ryan, this is Peter. We are here in this community up in Tool Springs near Aliante. This home right here is the plan 4425, massive home. Let's go ahead and jump in right now. All right, let's so obviously we're in this fantastic community, Heartland Summit, where the homes are built by DR Horton. And wait till you check out this home. They have a massive home to show you guys. So just to orient you, immediately we walked in and on the left, you're gonna have stairs. We have a storage closet that actually wraps around underneath the stairs but we're gonna go ahead and go with the flow of the home and show you guys what we got going on. So you've got a, a downstairs half bathroom here, little cloakroom, that's really nice. Then either side you have... There we go, we got two closets right here. We got a coat closet and a storage closet. There we go, plenty of storage. Then as Ryan said, we'll just go with the flow of the home. Open this up, I love this accent wall right here too. We'll check out the kitchen afterwards, but if we come through here, we have a, a multi-gen suite. Wait till you see this. So multi-gen suite, what is a multi-gen suite for people who haven't heard that term, but may have heard another term? Maybe you've heard a casita, so this would be like an attached casita or a mother-in-law suite, or I know there's various other different definitions for it, but most likely you've probably heard of casita and an attached casita. If you're from Hawaii like I am, it's, we call it an ohana, but here we go. I mean, talking about mother-in-laws, I think my mother-in-law would uh, move over from the Philippines and live here, and this, this is humongous. This place is humongous, so I just actually had my mom visiting for a little over a month, and I'm sure she would have loved her own space, as you just saw over here in the corner. Stacked washer and dryer right here in the closet. Got your refrigerator. It's got its own entrance as well, so it can be completely separated from the rest of the house, which my mother-in-law would love having the five grandkids and being around them when she wants, but when she wants to have her peace and quiet away from them, which obviously grandparents can have, parents can't so much, then she'd absolutely love to just chill out in here. And it's such a great big living space. I mean, I'm sure there's apartments in New York that are smaller than this, to be fair. I mean, it's crazy. There is a ton of space in here, if you can't see that already. There's just massive amounts of room going on. There we go, let me spin it around. So they got the, the TV designed up here. And then let's go. So this is, in, this is the living area. Let's walk into the actual bedroom of the casita or so, ohana. Really nice size. Sometimes in casitas, the bedrooms can be a bit small and sort of sacrificed. But I think this bedroom is as big as most guest bedrooms in homes. And you know, in some homes as big as a, a, a sort of a mid-sized primary. It's got a, I wouldn't call it necessarily a, a walk-in, but it's definitely a, a nice size closet there as well. Some great big windows letting in the natural light. All right, and behind the door, we got the bathroom. And real quick, guys, if you are moving to Las Vegas, relocating, or you're already here, and you're checking out this home, you can reach out to us however you're comfortable. We got the inside scoop. We can help you purchase your new home with that information right there on the screen. All right, Peter, what do we got going on over here? So here we have a, a twin vanity, which is always great, especially in a casita or a next-gen suite, multi-gen suite. And then we have it set up with a walk-in shower, which is a, you know, a decent size. These uh, plenty of cabinet spaces here. And it's again, it's soft close, so there's no slam in those. Okay, and then we didn't check out the closet, but here we go over here. Nice, decent sized closet. Now I'm gonna back up into the corner real quick where Peter was standing, just to give you guys an overview of what's going on here in the size. So how it lays out too. Again, they got the bed situated here with the two closet, or the closet in the bathroom. And then that door takes you into the living area. And now again, we've, we've barely scratched the surface of this home. This home is massive. So we got a lot more to show you. And stick around to the end if you wanna hear about the community, the HOA, you wanna hear where we're at, location, proximity. We're gonna get into all that there at the end, but we wanted to get you guys right into this home. And then a nice little closet there as well, which can be utilized for the multi-gen suite. 
and then it opens up into this great big space here. I mean, look at the size of this island. It's a really long island. Again, it's very functional. You've got the lip so you can have some bar stools or some seats so you can have it as a breakfast bar or talking you know, as the family get together whilst the cooking is going on. Plenty of cabinet space as well, plenty of uh, counter space. So it's very usable. This island obviously has the sink in it. So for some people, they like that. I know for me and my wife, it's great where I can be preparing as I'm the one who's always cutting, slicing, peeling. She doesn't trust me to cook. So I can do all the prep while she's getting all the cooking done and we're not bumping into each other and having arguments over whose fault it was when we dropped the spaghetti. So that's really good for us. And one thing that with these homes, everything you see is included with DR Horton. So there's no upgrades or options but the fridge isn't going to be included and the washer and dryers are not going to be included as well. All right, just so you guys are aware of that, here we go. We got the microwave in the oven right here, pantry in the front. And again, guys, this is really spacious. This like elongated island right here. There's a lot of space in between as Peter was mentioned. I actually do all the cooking in my house, so I don't have to worry about bumping my wife and arguing with her. <laughs> but um, my kids do love to help. But anyway, very like, look how long that is right there. You know. Talking of kids, my kids, my 10 year old, sometimes when we ask him to go and put stuff away after emptying the dishwasher, he likes to slam our drawers, but he's not going to be able to slam these ones because they've got a nice soft close. Uh, so definitely if you have kids, you'll definitely appreciate having soft closes because it's something we definitely would need. I love that feature. All right, we're going to wrap around here and then we got the dining area. Great space for a nice big table here as well with the, the lights underneath it. And then you have this nice sort of living area as well and there is a loft upstairs which we'll show a little bit later but this is still a nice little tucked away space you've still got the big windows for the natural light you can still have a, a nice tv set up here again if you've got family maybe you'll have the kids upstairs and this will be your one downstairs or you'll switch it and maybe do it vice versa you know you, there's so many options with this home there's so many great spaces in this home that there's just plenty of options to enjoy All right, we're gonna head outside right now and then we're gonna show you guys what's got going on over here. Really big sliding doors. All the in, uh, windows are energy efficient. We so, go in massive. A lot, of the, a lot of the complaints I hear when people looking at new construction home is the size of the yards and they're not big enough and they're trying to squeeze more homes in. On average, most of the homes in this community are gonna have a 7,000 square foot lot, which is really generous. It gives you a lot of space to customize it as you want. You know, you've got enough space there for maybe a pool, maybe you wanna have some yard space, or you wanna have uh, some turf, you wanna have some plants, whatever it is that you wanna do. But you can sort of see the sort of general space that you would get to enjoy here. And obviously you have this beautiful covered area as well where you can have you know, you could have maybe a grill set up in the garden, then you have this place to entertain guests as well. So if you're looking to entertain, then this is gonna check that box for you. I'm envisioning a pool right there. That's it, my, that, that's just me. I mean, it it, it's hot, it, we're out here, it's 108 degrees. <laughs> it's hot, I could envision a pool with a waterfall, you know, but we'll leave that up to you, right? When you reach out and you text us, and hey guys, love that at home. And don't think it's weird, a lot of people do it, people do it every single day. Choose the text, give us a call with that information that you'll see on the screen. We got a lot more home to show you. So we went and we searched around, we saw the casita. When we entered the house, Ryan sort of showed when you turn left, it'll be the stairs. So that's where we are now. We're just walking up those stairs. Lots of natural light coming in from the windows. And then it opens up to this beautiful loft where you know, I can envisage my kids playing Nintendo Switch and fighting over who won in Super Smash Brothers, which they do on a daily basis. That'll be a great space for them here to enjoy. Basically have another living room upstairs. This is called a loft, but this thing is huge. There's a lot of space here. You can see they got the full sectional right there. TV hung up on the wall. They even have a room for a desk over there on the side. Like you mentioned, kids doing homework, those types of things. So the way it works, there's a section on this side, and then we got bedroom, bathroom, bedroom, and the owner suite on this side. We're gonna take you guys this way first. We're gonna check out what's going on over here. 
and then we'll head to the other side. So as you come through here, you'll have your laundry room here. I know some people don't really like it being upstairs and there obviously one, is one in the multi-gen suite as well. And then the first bedroom as you sort of wrap around is gonna be this one. It's a, it's a really good size. This bedroom's huge. <laughs> you would think that this is an owner's suite. I'm pretty sure my primary bedroom in my house is probably around this size and, yeah. and this is uh, not the owner's suite. We're gonna no, get to that. Not at all. I think it's, it's a really good size and I'm surprised at how big it was actually when you consider it's six, six bedrooms. Normally when you get bigger sized, uh, bigger amount of rooms, they scrimp on the size. So you got a nice, I mean, it's a walk-in, it really is a walk-in closet. There we go. Plenty of space here as well for, for everything. So that's one of the bedrooms up here. Now we'll come to the next one in a minute, but you also have a full bathroom here. So you have a twin vanity with the uh, medicine cabinet. And then what I like is it's got a door that separates the toilet and it's set up with a bathtub. So someone could be having a, a bath or a shower and then someone else can be getting ready, doing their makeup or whatever and not be interfering with each other, which is really good. Especially if you have like a big family, right? And you, yeah, you know, everybody's got to shower and get ready in the morning or at a specific time. I love that they have the door separating the two. Now let's go, here we go, another one. We've got another great size room. I mean, look at, look at this closet again, like, some primaries don't really have such a big closet in, no. in some of these homes. So again, a really good closet. And then look at the size of this room again. This is only a secondary one. This isn't even the, the huge primary that we're gonna show you towards the end. Look at, look at the space. Just Lots of space in amazing here. Amazing windows as well, and all that natural lighting. And, and the way this community is set up, you probably have some good views because there's two communities, Heartland Manor, Heartland Summit. Heartland Summit, where we are now, has two story homes. Heartland Manor has one story home. So Heartland Manor is on the outside and then Summit in the middle. So if you've got one of the two story homes, you're not gonna have another two story home blocking your view. So with those big windows, you're gonna have some amazing views of the mountains. Okay, record player doesn't come with the house, so. Here would be another room. They have it set up as an office. Could be a good place for an office because then you know you, you're quite close to the loft as well but if you wanted to you could have it set up whatever way you wanted it it does feel a bit smaller than the other two rooms Definitely. and doesn't really have such a big size closet you know it's still technically still walk in there. a walk in yeah it sort of does wrap around a little bit so it still is a decent size and then i mean i have a home office i don't i work from home and I would love this space to be, you know, just how it is. I would probably rearrange it, but again, a home office. He's talking about the loft out there, but kids' bedrooms are on, you know, mostly the opposite side. Then you got the bathroom next door. It's almost perfect for that home office setup if you do need one, or if you want like a homework room, however it is that you want to set it up. I think the only issue with our family is if the kids are out here, that's going to make too much mm. noise for, for us in the office. Yeah, absolutely. You have another full-size bathroom here. So again, twin vanity. And this one's set up with the toilet and a walk-in shower, but again, you have the door separating it, which I think is a really nice feature. Absolutely. That's sometimes overlooked. We have another bedroom here, and again, it's a, it's a good size bedroom, but it's a really good size walk-in. I think all of the, all of the bedrooms have walk-ins. I mean, look, look at this for a, a walk-in for a secondary bedroom. If you have guests, if you don't have a big family, if you have guests coming over, they're gonna be delighted with this. They're gonna feel like they're in a hotel room. Yeah. And they got this one designed for obviously boys baseball, uh, your next superstar right there. And then we're gonna wrap around to the owner's suite. Come into this. And when I say suite, like think of that grand suite hotel room. Like. It is huge. Wow. It is big. I mean, if we look corner to corner, it's really big. I, I can't even get it all like in here in one shot. I gotta get in this corner and see if I can get it all. So we came in the door and then Peter's actually standing over there by the closet. We got the bathroom over there. Let's go ahead and check out the closet first. This closet is humongous. It's huge. I almost got lost in here. It goes all the way back. It is ginormous, so plenty of space for all your belongings. Although I know my wife would definitely only give me a very small amount. She'll find any excuse to fill out the rest of it and she'll make me feel like I'm thankful for having that last little bit on the corner as well for sure. And then we come into the bathroom. 
Again, it's a really big size bathroom. You got a private toilet here. And then this one is set up with a tub and then a walk-in separate, which I know some families would like, some families wouldn't like. Again, that's how they are set up. You have a really long counter space here. So you have a twin vanity, but they're such a, a distance apart that you're not gonna be bumping each other when you're brushing yeah. your teeth. Or... This is a double vanity, but like, like he's way over there. Like this, he's not even close. So. When, when, when your wife is putting on her makeup, you're not gonna get powder on you because there's such a big distance away. And lots of cabinet space underneath here again. It's gonna have the soft clothes on it as well, which tucks away nicely. And then you got a nice little linen closet in here as well for your towels and whatever else. Yeah, it's huge. This, this whole owner suite is just massive. It's huge. Now, you can go you ahead, said, leave a, a comment here and let us know what you think about this wallpaper right here, <laughs> whether if you're liking that green wallpaper or not. Let us know in the comments if you've watched this far into the video. I mean, I'm a fan of an accent wall, but I'm not, not feeling the color, but you guys let us know. Absolutely. All right, and here's the part of the video where we go and tell you about the community, our location, where we're at. We're gonna talk about the HOA and what we got going on here. So let's go ahead and start with location. So yeah, so we are located towards Aliante, which is in North Las Vegas. Not really Northwest Las Vegas, but it is to the west of North Las Vegas. So we're only five minutes away from the 215. So getting to the likes of the Strip and the airport isn't gonna really take you more than 20, 25 minutes. Five minutes to get on the freeway, you know, if you're Buying a home anyway in Vegas, being close to the freeway is gonna really help you. The whole of Las Vegas is only 26 miles by 26 miles, so it's really easy to get around. And I live in Henderson, which is in the southeast, so to get up here only took me around 35, 40 minutes this morning, so really gives you an idea of how long it might take you to get to where you wanna go. We're sort of north of Summerlin as well, so if you wanted to get over to Red Rock or everything Summerlin has to offer, downtown Summerlin, that's only gonna be about maybe 15 minutes away as well. We're located near Aliante uh, Casino, which I'm sure Ryan's gonna touch on now and some of the other great things that this area has to offer as well. Yeah, and one of the big things and big points is proximity, right? Where are you, what's the proximity? Where's the amenities? What is there to do? And for some of you, it might even be work, right? And I'm a military veteran. Maybe it's Nellis for you if you're an airman coming to Nellis and you're looking for a place, brand new communities, somewhere to purchase that home. This is gonna be roughly 15 to 20 minutes to Nellis, give or take, all right, on that. And then I actually live in the Northwest. Some people say it's as far Northwest as you can go. I don't even think it's that far out. Right, but we are outside of the 215. So the strip is basically like the center hub. You got the 15 and the 95 that run north and south. And then you got the 215 that wraps around in this loop. You're, you're literally less than five minutes away from the 215 here, which to me, discovering that being, you know, living in Las Vegas now, it's huge because I can get to anywhere. As Peter says, it's 26 by 26 here in Las Vegas. And when you have that freeway access right there, you're gonna be able to get to most of the places that you wanna go pretty quickly. So that reference point more so is going to be Aliante. This area is called Tool Springs. And we are in what was it, Heartstone or Summit. Yeah, Summit. Yeah, we're in Summit. So the single stories are Manor, as he explained earlier, and we are in Summit. Talk about the HOA. Yeah, so the HOA, sorry here, is around about $115 per month. That's lower than the average HOA. The average HOA in Las Vegas is around about $250 per month. It is a gated community, so that is gonna be covered in your HOA, as well as the maintenance of some of the communal areas and the general upkeep and you know keeping those clean, keeping all of the landscaping done in those areas. There also is a park as well, so it's gonna include that and the upkeep of that. And also I find that the HOAs that are on the lower side, and I would still class this on the lower side, they sort of don't interfere in your business. They don't tell you what trees and what plants and 
what color your outdoor house has to be. They just really let you get on with it. So if you're looking for a HOA that's gonna be low in cost and not interfere with your business, I think this is gonna definitely work for you. And they said it was around $115 a month. They didn't have a solid figure, about $115 a month for the HOA here with the amenities and the gated community and the things that they have to offer. And again, guys, that information is gonna be right there for you on the screen. Feel free to reach out however you're comfortable. All right, anything and everything, we got your back. And thank you again for watching the Las Vegas Homes channel. I'm Ryan, this is Peter, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.